Topological sorting is an example for decrease and conquer. This can be applied only for DAG. A DAG is a directed acyclic graph with no cycles. This graph is an example for DAG because start from A, you cannot go back to A. Even through this path also and even through this. But this is not a DAG because this contains cycle. Now we will define what is topological sorting. Vertices of a DAG can be linearly ordered so that for every edge its starting vertex is listed before its ending vertex. This is topological sorting. <coughs> that means vertices of a DAG can be linearly ordered so that for every edge its starting vertex is listed before its ending vertex. Here in this graph A is the starting vertex for H A B. It must be this A must be listed before B but B A is not the topological ordering. Similarly if I want to list out D I have to list out first A B C then only I can list D. So this is topological sorting. That means for every H you have to list its starting vertex before its ending. One such topological sorting is A, B, C, D. Second one is A, C, D, B. But A, B, D, C cannot be topological ordered list because D is listed before C. In this graph, this contains cycle. So, you cannot find the topological ordering for this graph. This topological ordering can be found in two methods. The first one is by applying DFS algorithm. Second one by source removal method. In DFS based algorithm, first you are required to perform DFS traversal. Find the order in which vertices are popped off. If you reverse this popped off order, you will get the topological order, order, order list. So when you are doing DFS algorithm, if you encounter back edge, then it, it is not a DAG. So you cannot find the topological ordering. Apply topological sorting for this graph. Let me illustrate this topological ordering by applying DFS traversal. <coughs> Here, the traversal starts from C1, then C3, C4, C5. This is the order in which, in which nodes are pushed into the stack. Now, with this, you have reached the dead end. Pop out this from the stack. Okay, this is the first one popped out from the stack, then this, then this, then this. So, this is listed here. This started from C1, then C3, C4, C5. We have reached the dead end. Then, this is popped out from the stack, then this, then this, then this. Next, push this C2 onto the stack and remove. This is the last one to be popped from the stack. Now, this is the list order in which nodes are popped from the stack. First one is C5, then uh, C5, C4, C3, C1, C2. Reverse this popping of order that will give you topologically sorted list that is C2, C1, C3, C4, C5. This is the topological list. So let me repeat once again. If you have given a DAG, 
first apply dfs traversal find the topologically sorted list sorry find the popping of order reverse this popping of order that will give you the topologically sorted list next method is source removal method here first you are required to identify the source source is nothing but a vertex with no incoming edge so keep on removing this source vertices until no vertex is left out in the graph so look at here a is a source vertex because there is no incoming edge even c is also source vertex because there is no incoming edge let me illustrate for this graph here here c1 and c2 both are source vertices but if you follow lexicographic order then c1 comes first so first let me remove this source c1 when you delete this c1 the resultant graph is like this next delete c2 when you delete c2 you'll get this graph so now c3 will become the source vertex delete that c3 now c4 c5 delete c4 with that the result resultant graph is containing c5 the only one node left out is c5 delete that also with that no nodes are left out to delete from the graph so now all the nodes is being deleted no more source vertices are remaining the order in which you have removed the source vertices will give you the topological sorting that is c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 is topological ordering